we can stop. Yeah, I don't know what she got. Are we recording? Oh, we are. We are live. <laughs> hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Renee and this is Bobby Beauty. <laughs> Happy Monday. So this is so surreal. Next week, so next Monday, I'm actually gonna be moving. Probably by the time you guys see this video, I'm gonna already have moved. And it's bittersweet. Today I have, today I went to work. My last day of work is Thursday and then I am leaving Jersey City, Monday, January the 30th. I feel like this is the end of an era. Like, it's just so crazy. Like, being at work today, I was kind of like, wow, like, I'm really not gonna be doing this anymore. But for me, I think it's a good thing because if you only knew, <laughs> I just think I wanted to take this time to really like pivot my career and be on the trajectory that I know that I could be on if I start really believing in myself. Like I believe in myself, but I really just need to believe in myself. And also like really prioritizing me and my mental health. Like that is my goal for this year and all the years to come. Obviously like I am the number one priority in my life as everyone should be their number one priority. No matter what you do in life, no matter if you're a mother, wife, whatever, like you need to prioritize yourself. And this is my year to do that. So I think I'm gonna do like updates every day that I get back and home. We can finally like celebrate. On Thursday, I'm actually gonna be having a going away party, which is exciting. The building has planned one for me, so I'm gonna bring you guys along for that and vlog all of that. And yeah, you're gonna be getting like my most genuine, my most like raw impressions because I'm gonna literally do these videos, these little close up intimate moments as soon as I get home from work. I literally just got home. I went and got some boxes from Lowe's because I'm trying to do like two boxes a day and so I'm all packed up. I'm trying to be all packed up by Thursday so Friday I can just relax and edit some other videos but yeah i think i've talked so much this is monday remember that and i will see y'all on tuesday hey happy tuesday so i went to the office today i came home and i had to pour me up a glass of wine because whoo today it wasn't bad but it wasn't like great because i had to go to the office and the office is an hour away from where i stay and i just hate it i hate 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 it but luckily i only have one more day of this can we get a round of applause seriously so today wasn't really bad i think we had i had one touch base and it was like regarding one of my categories and yeah one of my teammates came up to me and like talked about me leaving and I don't know everyone is saying that they're sad but I didn't get that vibe like I for me I feel like if you don't feel appreciated somewhere if you don't feel like you're really gonna grow somewhere and you just feel uncomfortable then leave like what did Megan the Stallion say I'm gonna have to insert one of her videos or that clip because if you walk into a room and you don't feel appreciated you don't feel seen you don't feel celebrated you should not be in that fucking room. Oops, excuse me. You should not be in that room. Like, I pride myself on that in my personal life. Like, if someone tells me, or if someone does something to me and they invite me to an event, I am like perfectly fine with saying like, I will not be in attendance. Like, not being in attendance is a luxury. Not being in attendance is a statement. Like, your absence, will be felt your presence will be missed and i feel like i'm one of those people that exudes light and love and just i don't know i always get told i have like a beautiful aura and that's not to like toot my own horn but it is true and you know what forget that toot your own horn like celebrate yourself 
because who else is going to celebrate you other than people that love and adore you of course but you know if you don't feel appreciated a job if you don't feel appreciated in your relationship if you just don't feel appreciated you don't feel wanted you don't feel seen then you're not supposed to be there and I love that about me how I can just pick up and move and just do something new even if it's scary and this is scary as hell like I literally quit my job during a recession like I have no plan as far as today other than content creation and I know people are probably like you're insane and like sometimes I do feel like I'm insane but at the same time I feel like I've spent so much time and I'm only 29 still in my 20s one more year to go um, but I feel like I've spent so much time so much of my time so much of like my valuable years in life your, your 20s are for figuring things out and even like in this later half of 20 going into almost 30 I still ha don't have a clue and I am okay with that like I was telling my friend the other day I have nothing but everything at the same time like I have no idea like where I'm pivoting to from here I don't know if I want to stay in merchandising and be in buying like honestly I don't know like I, I don't want to climb the corporate ladder like that's not for me either I'm just like ranting to you guys I don't want to climb the corporate ladder I don't care about titles like I saw that tweet like I and I it could not resonate with something more I do not care about titles and the trajectory to becoming CEO of a company because let me tell you our generation does not have that time we don't like eggs are five dollars like let's be for real who wants to work for a company for the next 20 years all these layoffs happening people are signing leases and then losing their jobs how do you afford rent you don't <laughs> it's literally giving sink or swim and i felt like that as a company like i feel or felt because we're speaking into existence we're already gone basically i just felt like i didn't think i was gonna grow i didn't feel seen it's 2023 and the lack of diversity is appalling. I don't feel comfortable in a room where no one looks like me, no one in upper management looks like me. And I'm looking around and none of my peers really look like me other than one. You know, it, it's just, it's giving, oh, uh, we met our quota, barely. And we're okay with that. And I don't want to be at a company like that. I want to be at a company that understands that diversity is important because how do you learn? How do you grow? You have to see things from all walks of life, from all cultural perspectives. And when your company lacks that diversity, it shows. It shows how ignorant some people at the company can be when they say certain things. It just, it was just given microaggressions, macroaggressions, and again, it could have been a harmless or you know not with malicious intent but I don't feel comfortable so I have to leave and I'm okay with that I am perfectly okay with leaving and doing something else with my life like the sky actually there is no limit on what I can do and what I will do and what I want to do and I want to do so many big things this year and I'm actually gonna do them because I talk about these big things that I'm gonna do and I just put it into thought but I don't start it and why don't I start it because I have a nine to five job and I'm not saying people I commend the people that do they get shit done during their five to nines when I get off work especially after commuting an hour and then coming back another hour I don't want to do no five to nine I don't I barely want to do the nine to five so I think I'm gonna wrap this video up because I can talk all day and there's so much more footage that I have to show you guys and I don't want this to be like so long that no one watches it but I would hope that you guys watch my videos but anyway I am going to finish sipping on this rosé and waiting on my sushi because your girl did not cook because why the hour commute just took it the life out of me and i'm gonna try and pack a couple boxes and i'll see y'all tomorrow i actually work from home so you'll probably see me doing some things around the house i.e packing cleaning and maybe it'll be a little bit more of like me moving instead of me talking about moving and 
yeah it'll be my second to last day with the company and it's bittersweet but i know i'm on to bigger and better and i'm gonna take you guys along for the ride happy tuesday i'll see you tomorrow hey y'all it's wednesday so happy wednesday i am currently working from home i went and actually sold my tv or one of my tvs during my lunch break so kudos to me and i was craving an iced coffee on my way back to my apartment so i stopped at the coffee shop in my building and i got a iced latte with i think a pump of vanilla and maybe like two or three pumps of pumpkin spice because your girl i'm a pumpkin spice girly i love it and yeah so today is pretty chill as you can imagine i am working from home but that does not mean that i'm not working i'm not one of those people that just because i put a notice in doesn't mean i'm not gonna work so i have been working i have been closing up final projects and tasks that i was tasked with but i'm not as rushed or things don't feel as urgent to me because even though they're urgent for the company and the people that are on my team my last day is tomorrow so essentially this is all behind me after tomorrow it just hit me one of my friends texted me today and she was like one more day and honestly dead ass have one more day so it's kind of bittersweet in a sense but this chapter had to come to an end it has to close and i'm going to tell you guys everything like i'm going to talk about my experience being black in corporate america especially as a black woman and a young black woman at that you just definitely navigate differently in this space than the others do than your peers do and it's quite evident and i just hate the lack of diversity and i know for some people that this doesn't bother them they're able to just like shut it off but me i just don't like to feel uncomfortable and i spend majority of my time working as do many of us 40 hours a week is spent with your job and it essentially helps pay for your livelihood that you do have but essentially going forward I don't want to do that anymore I want to enjoy my time now so I need to find ways to bring in revenue that allow me to live my life travel when I want to do the fine dining things and just really treat myself I've become more especially this year like even though it's only been a month I know but I don't know if it's with me turning 29 I don't know but I really don't want to mass consume anymore like i want to be appreciative of the things that i have yes buy a new black owned bag every once in a while but that's like not my goal like i want to romanticize the things that i already have like skincare that i already have makeup that i already have i have so much makeup so much skincare i don't need a new serum i don't need a new eye cream why do i feel like i want to go out and spend money or i need to have a glass of wine or i need to get whatever fix it is in order to feel a sense of fulfillment or a sense of happiness like why can I just enjoy what I have now whether it's spending an extra five minutes on my skincare routine whether it's pulling out my facial steamer to steam my face whether it's going to go get a massage like I just want to appreciate the now and the things that I already have and I think I'm going to definitely be implementing that in my life go forward and even in my career like I want a job that does not require much outside of the hours that I'm working at. I don't want to be working or log off and be like, oh my God, did I send this? Oh my God, did I do this? I, I'm so over that. So that is what I have tasked myself with going forward. So this is my midday update, but it's probably going to be just my Wednesday update altogether. And I'll see y'all on Thursday, which will be my last day working. And... Let's get a round of applause because it's just, I'm really excited to close this chapter. Like you guys just don't even know. And I want you guys to remember that, take note of that when I do my being black in corporate America video, which is, it's coming. I have a couple other videos planned out. So if you're interested in my experience as a black woman, a young black woman in corporate definitely make sure you check that out and if you aren't subscribed make sure you subscribe hey happy friday 
So I realized I completely forgot to do one of these yesterday, which was my last day. But I did do a mini series or a mini vlog of my last day of work. I posted it on TikTok, Instagram, and as a YouTube short as well. So be sure to check that out and show me some love. Yesterday was very much surreal. It just... You just don't know what it felt like to be done. Like with a toxic work environment, with a toxic boss, with a place that lacks so much diversity that it was sickening. I was so hyper visible. I just did not feel comfortable at that place like at all. Did not feel seen, did not feel represented. And I just didn't feel safe. Like those are not safe spaces for people like me that present like I do. I just, it was just not it. And like, it did not help that my boss was not the best person as well. It just, it was just too much. And it was too catty, too petty. And I'm just, all that shit is beneath me. If I'm being honest, like I don't, um, I just, it just, I, what? Like it was just too much. So I'm glad to be out of that environment. And again, I'd rather be jobless during a recession than to have to tolerate any more of that. It is so heavy on your mental when you're dealing with a person like that, as well as like a work culture like that. It just, it just wasn't it. It didn't give, it never will give for me. And I'd rather remove myself from the picture with class and with grace than to tolerate that. So I'm just glad that I am free. I feel so good to be out of there. And currently I am packing, I am planning, I'm actually supposed to be filming another video that you'll see before this video. But yeah, we are free. And I will do a full update. I will do a whole thing, I'm telling you about being black and corporate. It is just no joke. It is not for the weak and when your company lacks diversity, when they claim that they are really big on diversity, equity, and inclusion and you look around and you are the diversity, equity, and inclusion, it just doesn't give. And I don't know, it's just for me, I cannot go into a room every day and not see anyone that looks like me, especially in higher positions. Like if I don't see any VPs, or even like one tier above me or the tier above that that look like me, any directors that look like me, nothing. I do not want to be there because chances are I'm not going to get promoted. And if I do get the only way I do get promoted is if I have to kiss a bunch of ass and that is just not me. So yeah, peace, um, good riddance, best of luck to them and the company. I just had to go and I could not be happier. I'm just, it's just so surreal. Y'all just don't even know, like, you don't even know. But anyway, your girl is now planning her going away celebration, which is tomorrow. And I'm also packing and cleaning. I am kind of running late on my video that was supposed to have been posted, but it is what it is at this point. So, yeah, I feel like I'm just ranting now. Um, I didn't really have a plan when I went into this of what I was going to say. I'm just talking. But happy Friday once again. And I will see y'all tomorrow. You'll see me doing some packing and some cleaning in the meantime. But, yeah, I'm going to be vlogging the party. You're going to see that, which is tomorrow. We're going to go to brunch. Have a little brunch. But, yeah, right now I'm about to go run a Lowe's and get some boxes. So I'll bring you along for that, I guess, if that's interesting. And then I'm going to pack some of those boxes, clean up some, and then we got to film that video because we've been talking about the video for a minute and we have not filmed it. And it, we should have filmed it this morning, but it is what it is. But we got another mini vlog coming. Be sure to check out my mini vlogs. I've gotten a lot of great feedback on those and people are saying that's what they want to see. So I'm going to give y'all what y'all want to see. I give y'all whatever y'all want, like seriously. So I will see y'all in the next one. And thank you for being here and supporting me throughout this journey because it is not easy, but I'm always gonna prioritize myself and my mental health. You only get one life. And if that makes me not a team player, I'm sorry, I don't believe in struggling and you know helping others. Like 
helping a company that would never help me that the CEO doesn't even know my name sorry don't care and yeah make sure you're prioritizing yourself your mental health don't tolerate nothing not for no corporation not for no boss that peaked in high school like nothing do what's best for you always bye Hey y'all, happy Saturday. So I figured I'd do one of these before I get a little too lit. Today is my farewell party. It starts at eight, but my friend Shayna and I are gonna go to brunch first. And I will never get over how late Jersey people and New York people do brunch. Like we're going to brunch at 3.30, which is unheard of from someone that is born and raised in Virginia. I would be at brunch at 12 but I kind of like it because now I have like no excuse to be late so I have a lot of mixed emotions Avi and you know I had one mimosa so far I'm trying to chill out because I want to make it to the farewell party and I think this brunch is bottomless so I'm gonna eat as much as I can drink as much as I can of course but kind of chill out I did have a video plan that I'm actually gonna try to film before my friend gets here for Lorve I wanted to do my sunglass try on haul I was gonna do like different outfits and different hairstyles for each one but your girl is moving most of my stuff is packed I literally had to dig I mean dig like I opened boxes to find these shoes like i was like oh my gosh and i just got this idea today to wear this pink outfit because i realized last time i went to brunch i didn't get any good pictures in it nothing came out right so i'm gonna wear those heels with my yato bag i've never worn this bag black owned bags you you know you already know so i did have a black owned bag tour or my collection of black owned bags to show you all Hopefully I get to film it while I'm still in my apartment. If not, I'll just have to be at a later date. You're going to see that video before you see this one. So you're going to be like, what are you talking about? But anyway, yeah, that was the goal. It was to film the sunglass haul as well as the bag haul today before Shayna got here. But it's almost 2 o'clock and I told her she can come at 2.30 so we could take pictures and stuff. So we're about to try and do the sunglass haul at least and tomorrow I can film for the bag haul. Worst case scenario, I'm just going to have to do it once I am settled in my father's home because 
you're gonna see that video later. You're gonna, there's just gonna be so many videos. There's, there's so many videos that I have planned like going on at one time and just not enough time to film them all and packing by yourself, moving all these heavy boxes by yourself is a lot but anyway, I'm gonna take you along on my journey. You guys are gonna see me at brunch, I'm sure. And as well as the farewell party, I'm hoping to do something cute and have like everyone kind of record their own like message to me, I guess, for me to edit and put into the YouTube video. Kind of like one of those time capsule type of things. But yeah, happy Saturday. It is day two of fun employment. And it just feels like a dream. Like it's really gonna hit me on Monday. Obviously I'm moving on Monday, but it's really gonna hit me when I don't have to log on to that computer. Actually, like we're back in office or they're back in office on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. So not having to make that commute to work, not having to be in that hostile environment with my boss who doesn't even acknowledge my presence or speak to me. I just don't have to deal with it anymore. And oh, if I haven't said this already, having to be there at 8.30 and everyone else can trickle in at 9, 9.15, 9.30. I mean, I was late one time and you would have thought that it, I killed his dog, literally. It was just too much for me. And personally, I feel like it was a little bit of discrimination because I was the only black person on my team the youngest on the team and no one else was required to be there before everyone else no one else was required to be there at 8 30. it was just me like it, it just didn't make sense it just wasn't fair to me and even though life isn't fair you're not gonna abuse your power with me and you're not gonna take advantage of me in a sense so Cheers to being free from that and cheers to actually like standing up for myself and speaking my mind in my exit interview and just telling them like yo like there is a very 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 big problem with diversity at this place. This is the least diverse corporation that I've been at and I've been at three. So that says something and I thought the first and the second weren't diverse enough. Wow. They make this place, they put them to shame. Like they, they're doing good compared to this place so on to bigger and much better things and yeah i'm gonna see you all later at my party and we're gonna have a great time tonight i'm really excited <sighs> i hope i don't cry <laughs> but i will see y'all later okay so we are headed to the farewell party I'm really excited. Everyone is late. It started at eight and I think it's almost nine o'clock, but everyone is black. So you already know how black people do with time. And that's Shayna back there. Hey, fuck that. <laughs> You're on YouTube. Oh, we're on YouTube. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's YouTube live? It's not live. Can I give a speech for you? Yeah. I'll give a short one. I'll give a short one. No, I'll give a short speech to you. And then let me stand up. I'll get you on. Hello. I'll give you a good speech. I do good speeches, I feel like. Okay, so, all right, let's take a shot. Let's take this. This, this is gonna be to. It's not to an ending of anything. It's to a beginning to a new chapter for you. Period. It's not to something that is to remorse on something that's bad. You had such a good time, and you're ready to upgrade your life. And that's the point that we're at today. So we're gonna take a shot to congratulate you that you're upgrading your life. Period. Cheers. He was like, I don't know if I'm gonna do this today. I Yeah. 
So it is move out day. I'm gonna miss this place. But yeah, here is my empty apartment tour. My first luxury apartment. And it's time for this chapter to end, unfortunately. But I will see y'all for my next apartment. I'll actually do like an apartment tour. 
but yeah this is it I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss it I'm trying not to cry